So the good thing with this game is you only play on one tile at uh, any time. So uh, that means it doesn't take too much space and you can play on a normal, normal sized table. Uh, so here is uh, the the spike tile. So it's time uh, for us to put our minis on the board and it's very simple. Uh, you know, we have our stance and you know, the Crusader is first, it's on the uh, aggressive stance. We have the Highwayman on the defensive side uh, stance, the Jester on the range stance and the Vestal on the support stance. So we try to look at this logo on this card and when, where, when we find them, this is where we are. So. The, the the little sword is here so that that means i stand i start here uh where is the shield the shield is here so you stand next to me yeah i'm gonna be to, to your left yes and the jester is here right here and right oh, here no. for the vestal Already okay dead. yeah <laughs> don't kill over quite yet <laughs> so let me show you a little bit uh, of this uh this map you you can see the red splash i mentioned so the, the a is here so the circle of power is here so Anytime a monster ends uh, their turn here, they heal for four. Uh, and then the, the, the spike pit uh, are here, the B uh, here. So if monsters or if we finish, uh, end up our turn here, we lose, uh, I think it's three, right? Yes. Three, health. Three, three health. Plus a bleed effect. Plus a bleed effect, absolutely. Uh, the only, the other things you can see on the, on the, on the, on the tiles, you have like little uh, white dots here. So when you have three like this one, that means only three mini miniatures can stand here. The capacity of this area is three. That means you can still go through, but you can't stop there unless uh, there is enough space. For instance, the capacity, uh, this area is saturated, the capacity is uh, reached, uh, so no one else can, can stay here but the Vestal and the Jester can have one more mini. Uh, here in this pit, we, we can have four uh, of them and etc. Uh, and finally, another thing you can see here is the white line means that it's, uh, it's high ground. Point. So that means you have a bonus for range, I think plus one range if you want, and you have a bonus for- Plus one accuracy if you target someone that isn't on the high ground. Okay. What do we see also? We can see that uh, there are uh, these little symbols that are chests. That means we have treasures that we could find here. So we need to put a chest a token here. And that means for one action, we could uh, see what uh, is there. Could be gold, could be anything. Experience, uh, curious, anything, okay? We don't know what it is. We'll see if we explore them. And now we are going to draw the monster's card uh, and populate uh, this room with them. Okay, so uh, we're going to draw uh, monster cards. So please give me the first one and I will show uh, how it works. So we have the Bone Courtier. Uh, so you can see that this is an unholy monsters, monster and it, it arrives from the back. So that means there he goes. I, you, you see front is here back is here it arrives from the back so i will put uh the card at the first spot available from the back which is this one so he starts at fourth uh stance and you can place him on the board so he's here yeah just flip him around <laughs> in the circle of power so if he remains here at the end of his turn he will heal for four yeah let's see another one next up uh so now we have the cultist acolyte so the cultist acolyte uh, is human and back also. So he also starts from the back. So we will put his card at the first available spot from the back. So that means it's ranged uh, stance. And that means he's placed or she is placed because she's a female. She's placed here in the high ground. So that means she has plus one range yeah. and, and plus one accuracy. And she's guarding also uh, the, yeah. the, 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 the treasure. Next up is uh, the Bone Soldier. Okay, a Bone Soldier, uh, he's, he comes from the front. Uh, yeah, and he's unholy. So let's put him at the first available spot at the front, which is this one. Yes. So he, he comes and then it gives also his uh, starting uh, 
position. So he's next to uh, the, 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 the bone cut here. And finally, the last one, well, we don't need, we know that it's going to be on the, the last available spot, whether it comes from the front or the back. But uh, he comes from the front and it's a bone defender. So he, we will put him here. And, Here's the guy. Yeah. So we are ready uh, to start this fight now. Uh, all minis are put on the board. Let's start this very first battle. So let me just tell you a few things before we, we start. We're going to play uh, according to the initiative. So the initiative is going to be decided by this deck of cards initiative cards so we will have four monsters because we have four monsters and uh four heroes so we will simply shuffle uh this initiative card of course if a monster is killed uh, we remove his initiative card so we are more likely to have the initiative because uh we will still hopefully be four and there will be less of course if we lose a hero then we have to remove a hero uh initiative card so we will we will draw them when it's due time and then if it's a hero we will start we will go in the order of the stance so first will be uh, aggressive stance so crusader then will be highwayman then jester and then vestal and the monsters alike will start from uh, their first stance to their last one each hero is going to have two actions so what can you do during your action you can move I can change the stance position by one. So I'm at the first one. If I want to go on second position, I can spend one of my two actions to do that. And finally, I can use a skill. If I missed my skill, I can still try it again if I still have some actions to do that. But if I succeed in using one skill, then I can't use it anymore for this turn. And finally, you can use an action to interact with your environment. So that in this case, that would mean uh, opening a chest. Let's see what the initiative uh, gives us. So I'm going to uh, look at this card and we start with a monster. Okay. Great. So they have the initiative. We had one chance out of two. So what we'll do, we'll put the initiative cards just on top of the monster, so we know that this one has uh, worked, uh, has, has played. played, and it's the Bone Soldier. So how do we read a Bone Soldier card? You see, if he's in this or this or this stance, he will do his first attack. If he's in support, he will do his second attack. So he's going to do his first uh, uh, attack, which is Graveyard Slash. So he has a crit of one, an accuracy of nine, if he crits, he does 9 damage. If he does uh, a normal attack, he will do 5 damage. The other things you can read here are his uh, dodge. He has a dodge of 0, so he doesn't change. Unfortunately, he's a bone soldier. He's very resistant to damage. And this symbol here means that he takes half the damage uh, rounded, up. Up. rounded up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he has no resistance, but he's immune, totally immune to bleeding. Of course, uh, uh, skeletons do not bleed. Uh, he's a level 1, because of course we're in level 1 uh, dungeons, but you have a level 2 bone soldiers with different cards. He has 7 hit points and he only moves 1. So he's going to target. So what is he going to do? He's going to move towards uh, the most wounded person, which is the Jester. In case of a tie, he will aim at uh, the one at uh, the, the most well, yeah, highest stances, stance, yeah, of course. right? Okay. Yeah. If if he could move uh, to two different equivalent paths, we get to choose. In this case, you are the only one who's the most wounded, so there's no doubt. So he's going to <laughs> yeah. move one. Where is he? He's in the circle of power. Here. And where is the jester? Jester is here. So he moves, he has to move one, and he needs to be it's one right. range from uh, from the jester yes. so where does he move to he'd have to move into the spike pits yeah okay so we move him in the spike pit and now he's in range yeah. he's, he's in range, range of exactly. one he has to be exactly at the range here so if it's range one that means he has to be at exactly one range otherwise he can't attack if it was it's not one or zero 
It's exactly what's written on the card. And now, well, you're gonna ro you're gonna roll the dice for your own fate. And well, <laughs> you better roll a ten. <laughs> Let's do it. I if you don't roll a ten, I have to do You are going to be in oh, the yeah. Let's go. That's a four. That's a four. Unfortunately, that's so a even death. with your dodge, even with your dodge, so you will take five damage, that's and that means damage. you need to put your death. Uh, My death uh, and death now the dodge. true test. So now, hold fast. If we or expire. A tall uh, dice. We really need to Heal. do s and Heal. do something yeah. for him. Please do. Well, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is darkest dungeon. It's a dangerous yeah. place. That's so, happening. as it's the end of the monster turn, and he's in the pit, he oh. takes he takes three uh, damage, three damage. Yeah. and divided by two, rounded up so two. Two. Okay. But Choked. no bleeding because he's immune to bleeding. Yes. I mean. Skeletons do not bleed. Not yet. As far as I know, no, no they don't. don't. All right, let's hope we are we we roll better on the initiative. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, a monster! Another monster! Oh my god! I'm okay, not, so I'm not again. the bone defender this time. Okay, the bone defender is in the uh, shield position. So, okay, in the shield position, it says you have to roll one to five. Will mean he's he will do his second attack. And uh, 6 to 10 means he will do his first attack, <coughs> right? Okay, so let's roll the dice. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay. Two. two. So it's going to be his uh, attack number two. That's dead weight. Dead weight. He will target the closest uh, hero. Who's the closest? Just guess. Let's take a guess. Well, he only moves one. Okay, so okay. where is he? He's here. Yeah. He yeah. moves one. And then he's here at range. His range is zero, so he's not at range. So you, you're you're safe. You're so lucky. For you're now. so lucky. Yeah, I'm so he's lucky. not gonna attack so you. Lucky. I'm doing so great so far. Okay. <laughs> next one. Okay. Next you're one. Not dead yet. Yet. Next yet. one. Uh, <laughs> let's. Hope let's. It's a hero. It's a hero. Oh, finally. finally. Okay. But okay, it's a hero. I will put this here. <sighs> I'm slow and I'm far away. Oh, wait. I could go and hit him. But that means I would stay in the pit and... Don't you have a range of one for your attacks? Oh, maybe. If you do, you could stay in my area. Oh, yeah, you can, can use not be uh, the zealous accusation. Oh, the zealous accusation. From where you are. I don't even need to move and I could do it. Oh, that's a very... Oh, that's yeah. a pretty good idea. Uh, I will start with the zealous accusation. Let me show you uh, the card. So, you see, zealous accusation. So, I have a crit of zero, so I can't crit unless we have modifiers, but uh, we don't we have don't. any modifiers. Okay. We could have modifiers if the light goes down, then yes. we get plus one crit and the monsters get plus one crit, but we haven't, we're still, uh, we're still not quite in the dark yet. Uh, I, can, I have uh, an accuracy of nine, which means if I roll up to nine, I will hit and I will give him five damage and I can target, I have, you know, my range is one and I can target, you can see the two little red dots, I can target two monsters in the same area. Unfortunately, unfortunately there's only one, so I'm just gonna roll uh, against this one. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Three. Oh, that's a very good one. So that's a hit. That means he gets five damage. Divided by two rounded up, so that's three damage. So he's up to five damage. Taken. He's to five. Oh, only two left and he's, uh, he's dead, dead, dead again. again. Dead again yeah. <laughs> okay, so because I've succeeded in doing my uh, skill, I have to uh, flip it. That means I can't use Zealous Accusation for my second action. Unfortunately, do I have any other range one? Uh, no, I don't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here so people will target me in case of a tie. Oh, you see? Yeah. So just to help you a little bit, I will move here to attract uh, other other monsters. Uh, uh, Attack. Yes. That's, okay. That's very nice of you. you yeah. see? Maybe you deserve some healing. 
I'll first put a few next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's hope we roll a hero initiative cards. And we do! That's another hero. So this time it's going to be the highwayman. So we will flip him. Well, yeah, turn him upside down. Uh, and the highwayman, what are you going to do? Well, I think I'm, I'm gonna attack him, maybe. Oh, the uh, the bone cutter. Yeah, maybe fi maybe already, finish him off. But he already played. Yeah, but the thing is, if you move into Leo's area, I can buff you both. Okay. During my turn. So it would be nice to have you set oh, but up. You, 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 can't, you can't come here because oh, uh, yeah. the capacity, the capacity is reached yeah, already. Yeah. But I have the range. I have an attack with one range, so I, I can hit him. It's dualist advance. And I have a one crit. Crit one with eight damage and accuracy of nine with four damage. And I can pull myself. Oh, yeah. Sh give me your card. So you want to use this one? I'm going to show it uh, on camera. So she wants to use the Duelist Advance. Uh, so as you can read, you can use this on the second, third or fourth stance. And she's second, so no problem. Um, she has a crit of one. Uh, if she rolls a one, it's a crit. So she would, she would deal eight damage. And she has an accuracy of nine. So if she rolls up to nine, she would, she would deal four damage. Uh, uh, range is one and she can target only one uh, monster and then you know she has some after effect <laughs> so when you have them on the left side of your card towards you that means it will happen no matter what whether you succeed or not you will have this effect if it's on the right it means you need to succeed your uh, in your role in your role to have it, but she doesn't have any right side effect. So uh, the effect is pull one, that means she would go from second to first row, and uh, also she would move yeah. on the board. Pull is both stances and uh, on, the, on the tile itself. Yeah. And uh, and then she has a, uh, what is this? Is this a, a repost, yeah. right? This yes. is a repost for turn two turns, right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. So that means she would be uh, retaliating uh, if anyone attacks her while she still has the retaliation stack uh, and deal half the damage she's received. Yes. Yep. Something like that, right? Yep. Okay, That's so it. you're going to try and do this one? Yeah, I'm going to try. So do it. you move or do you stay here? No, I can stay here and I can move uh, because it's we have the total... Yes, but what what is your range? You need to move one. at least... Yeah. Oh, I'm she has range. Oh, so she can, she can no, no, you're not. Yeah, she, she's in range. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in range. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're, you're in range. And then she can use her second action to move out the way of the of the pit. Yeah, because you're gonna be pulled into the pit. Yeah. And you don't want that. Oh no! Ten. And that's a ten. That's a ten. And so I do you miss. You miss, yeah, and you're totally pulled miss. anyway. You're still pulled, yeah. Yeah, you're pulled anyway, so... So you have to move, move here. here and Your stance shifts yep. up. Yep. Well... Second action. <laughs> Second action! Your actions push yourself. No, no, you, 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 you missed. missed. You, you missed, missed, so you, you still have access here. to yeah. it. But Maybe you can push yourself? I can push myself. And I can still hit... Well, now he's in your position. Do you have a skill that has zero range? I yes. have point blank shot. You want to use this one? Oh, okay. So, you know, it's not too bad because you still have a chance to do the point blank shot, which is a strong one because you crit on one. If you do crit, that's 15 damage. It's crazy. It's more than my health. It's crazy. <laughs> wow. And then, you know, for bad rollers, she has you have an accuracy of 10. So even if you roll this bad 10, you would still hit. Uh, unless he has a dodge. Does he have dodge? No, he does not. Does. He has no dodge. So you still have 10. And then after that, you will push yourself for one, and which is great. And I will push the enemy too, I think. Or pull it. No, no, I think... Yep, yeah, you, you both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you push the enemy also. Yeah. You're right. Oh, you kill this him, is great. So, yeah. so I think... He's dead again anyway if you, if you hit, so it doesn't really matter. So go ahead, and this time there's not a big... 
a big risk. A big risk. So it's four. four. It's four. <laughs> it's not a crit. I but do nine damage points. So you Confident do nine damage. Confident surges as uh, the enemy the, crumbles. Uh, divided by two, roll it up, so that's That's five. more than enough. The bone soldier is shattered. Uh, I mean, he completely explodes, so he's out. And he's so dead meat. We remove... So we remove him. His card from the board. Uh, d do we... No, yeah? And his card... He's unholy, right? Yeah. So he's we put him back so under uh, the monster's deck, and we do not remove it uh, from the game because... But we do remove his initiative card. Oh, yes. From the deck yes. for this battle, at least. And because uh, there's a spot here, we move it everything up by one. Okay, right. so now they have changed their stances. I just have to push myself now. Yeah. You have to push yourself. So I push myself here. Okay. And then switch again. Or don't ah. you want to push here? Mm. Mm. Because you could be uh, a, you could be yeah. uh, in his position next time. Yeah, but I have um, two movements. So you you. I can. Move yeah, but easily. that saves you. Uh, you know, if you are here. Uh, you're closer to the enemy, so if you don't have to move before you attack, that gives you one extra uh, skill yeah, to use. She, she may end yeah. up in range of the, the acolyte on the high ground. Oh, is it dangerous um, because of that? I push my, I pull and push myself. Easy. And okay, quite and easy. I have range okay. Of one. All right. I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, this is uh, one of this uh, highwayman specialty. When he attacks, he moves, he pushes, so he's. That's a, a yeah. pretty good way uh, of moving and being uh, at the range you want. Oh, he was supposed to push the bone soldier. He's already dead. Too bad. Yeah, he's been pushed out of the board. <laughs> okay. Oh, monsters. Hmm. Okay. All right. So this time it's going to be the, the second of. Oh, is it the acolyte? Yes. Yeah. So this one has played. Yes. Yeah, this yeah. one hasn't. So oh, the acolyte. All right. Let me show the card on screen. You see, so she's uh, on the second stance, so we need to roll to see uh, one of the three uh, attacks she's going to, to do. So let's roll, let's roll your dice, come on. That's three, that's uh, the first one, so that's a stressful incantation. Okay. Don't like that name. So she's going to target the most stressed character. Who is the most uh, stressed? And that would be Sylvia. You. Because oh, the that's the highwayman! Yeah. Yeah, oh. You're the only one who took some stress uh, earlier. So she's going to target you, most okay. stressed. So, oh, she has a move of three. She's very mobile. Um, hmm. And, and she has a range one. of one. So she okay. wants to be in your range. One, two. Can she be in your range? Yes. One, no, one, no, two. no, no, she no, no, no. One. one, two, three. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's let's show one, one two, two, and three, and then she's oh she's in range. She, she ends she's, up in the pit. So she ends up that's in the pit. Okay. That's yeah, not too bad. But she's gonna yeah. target you. Uh, okay. So what's uh, okay? Crit of zero. Uh, there's no modifiers. Do you have a dodge? I have one dodge. So her accuracy it's goes from nine to eight, right? Yeah. So she has eight. So it, go ahead and roll your own dice. Your fate is in your hand. Yeah. Two. That's not a crit, but that's close. Uh, okay, so that's a normal one. So it's not too bad. It's only one damage, yeah, but there maybe. are some little after effects. Okay, so one damage. So you take one damage, so now you're, you have three damage yes. out of twelve. And you take... Uh, plus one stress. Yeah, plus one stress. Oh. Torch, and we lose one torch level. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that means we need to say something. We haven't mentioned the, the level. You start at level five, and that means there's no modifiers, but uh, the more dark it is, the darker it is, uh, the more side effects uh, there are. And here, because we reach level 4, that means both monsters and heroes get plus 1 on their crit. So now, suddenly, it's darker here, and we're gonna have a little more... Uh, a bit more leeway into getting crit, and also to receive crit as Exactly. Well. So we are more likely to do crits, but the monsters are more likely to do crits as well. Do the traps gain crit too? Because I don't want to see another one. <laughs> Uh, technically, I think so, yes. technically they do. Yes. yes. Great. <laughs> okay.
Because when it's dark, the crits from the trap means that you don't see quite well, so you're more likely to be hit. Yeah, that hmm. makes sense. Suddenly, that okay. makes sense. Okay, so, uh, okay, so uh, that's it. So yeah. it's yeah. it's just that she's more frightening than damaging with this attack, right? She still eats the spikes, though. Oh, oh no, right, the spikes. the spike damage, so three. So four. does she have any resistance or any such she, thing? No, she resists she uh, debuffs, no. but not... Not okay, really. so she has taken three wounds and she has nine hit points, so she's only um, she's only six, six hit points from, yeah. left, and she has a yeah she's bleeding now, so yeah, she will take one wound e every turn. Okay, pretty good so far. Uh, let's see who's next in initiative. A hero. Oh, that's gonna be. <laughs> I'm scared. That's the Chester. <laughs> okay, so okay, hear me out. Come here, because I can't hit you if you're just on my zone. Yeah, but I'm bleeding, so I'm gonna roll for death's door anyway. Before you uh, no, 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 you don't roll for death's door uh, with bleed. Only with a uh, monster's attack. Yes. I've never been so glad to be wrong before. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on so the, on the actual attacks. So uh, you simply bleed, door. but it has no effect, no impact. You don't need to roll yeah, that's okay. your death uh, okay. door dice. Well then, my two actions would be to move once here. And the other would be to fail Cleo for the, for the move, so I'm gonna use my battle ballot to heal to buff you. Oh, you're gonna buff me? Yeah. Are you gonna heal when you do that? Nope, I guess. You do not, you're not a healer? Nope. I just oh. buff and relieve stress. The only healer I do not is heal. the Vestal. So the, yeah. it's only yeah. the Vestal, and you it's haven't you haven't played yet? No, because I'm last on the on the initiative road. And so. when you move here, uh, Erwan, aren't, isn't it risky? Could you be targeted by the Bone Courier? I mean, she shouldn't do much damage. Most stressed and closest. Yeah, but no, so you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good. Safe. Yeah. You're, you're Most safe. stressed would be the high women, so I think Okay, you, yeah. you, you're safe. Okay, so that's... So because this is also something important. You need to anticipate what the monsters can do. We know that the next time a monster moves, it's going to be the Bone Courier, and we know that he's either going to target the most wounded or the closest uh, uh, hero. So if you're here, you're safe. So that's another way to... To use the yeah, system, to, to, you know, to anticipate uh, what the monsters can do. Yeah, to mitigate the risks. Exactly, well. to mitigate the risks. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use the battle ballet, so you can show the card. Yes, let me show the card. Battle ballet. Ballet. So the nice thing about this card is that it doesn't require any accuracy checks. So I just succeed immediately. Oh, you like that. You like not rolling <laughs> dice, don't yes! you? Yes! <laughs> I'm not risking my life again for this. And you can target people up to two people so we can see when it's a uh, green dots that means these are allies either you or uh well usually mo no it's not you no, it's when nice. it's you it's on on the left so yeah. two allies uh you 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 target them instantly they have to be on the same area one area away and then you will have oh yeah you can move up to two no that's a buff that's a buff uh oh okay yeah, so I'm going to target you. Since you're alone in your area, I can target anyone else. Okay. You're going to gain two buffs. I'm going to buffs myself too. The blood quickens. Buffs, what are buffs? Buffs are plus one to your accuracy. No, to no, crit. Plus one to your crit. Oh, to your crit, sorry. Yeah, to your crit chance, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, okay. So, so that's good. With the change in light and the buffs I just gave you, you're going to just one-shot something, I think. Yes, because now I have plus one because of the light and plus one because of the crit, so I have plus two on my crits. Yeah. Which is starting to be... It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty comfortable, yeah. Okay, so you're done. Your yep, I'm done with turn. Let's see, next initiative. It's important. Who is going? Who is it going to be? And it's a monster! No! So it's going to be the, burn, the bone courier. So, what do we have here? He's gonna either do the trampling goblet, or yeah, is it the when he just yeah he just yanks wine at you? Yeah. <laughs> or is it wine? I'm not sure. It's I wine. hope so. <laughs> Don't I think hope it's we'll wine. never know. I hope it's wine and not. So he's he's in, he's in the ranged stance, so he's gonna use the tempting goblet. Tempting tempting goblet. Uh, let yeah. me show the card again. Tempting goblet, or it could be the knife in the dark, but. He's, what's his position? He's uh, ranged, so yeah, it's going to be first one. So he's going to target the most stressed hero. So Who is it? You? And it's the highwayman. 
It's the highwayman, and he he's going to to do it at a range of two. Is so he, he at, he's, yeah. is he he's in range? range yeah, he's in the range, so he doesn't move. He stays here and he simply tosses wine at you, uh, and um, he's gonna crit on zero. Plus, plus, one. One. plus one, so, he can, so he, he can crit at one, and he's an accuracy of ten, so there's not risk okay. much risk. Do you have a dodge? I have one dodge. So if he rolls a ten, he misses. Yes. Okay. May your bad luck serve you now. <laughs> I hope I can roll a ten like last time. Oh yes, that's a <laughs> crit move. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, well, he misses, which was very unlikely, but you know, we have bad Some, luck. Sometimes. We have bad luck, so. Uh, oh no, no, you haven't played. So, well, the, the I mean, there's only one left, so yeah. The monsters the, do uh, not have like like us. They move to be in range, and then they attack, and that's all they do. And if they are not in range, they miss their attack. Yeah. They do not uh, move twice or any such thing. Or so they don't attack the closest one. Or no, no, no. They just so go to the target, and that's it. The last one was obviously a hero, so we okay. have it. So the vestal can now. Do yeah. our things. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do with my two actions. First thing first, I'm gonna heal our Jester, Jester friend. <laughs> so Thanks. with my Divine Comfort. Can you show? heal me? Oh, look at that. No. Divine? No, no I won't. Uh, no. Oh, no. Um, divine my Comfort. It uh, targets up to three people in the same oh, space. Oh, so you're gonna so target, you, yeah. Yeah, so you... I'm gonna heal too. You so you're yeah. gonna heal both the Jester and the Highwayman. That's yes. very good. So, Expert placement. And look at that. So, yeah, you can you can do it from second, third or fourth stance. It has a, a crit of three plus one because we're in the dark. So you, you crit... Up to, up to four, four yeah. and it has an accuracy of 12 so even I with a dodge it. you can't miss it and then you will heal yourself for two but yeah, you're not it's, you're not, it's not needed right now but and then again yeah depending on whether you heal you crit or not you will heal two on a normal yeah, side or three on a crit so it does not heal that much but but it's a safe one yeah. you, you're almost sure to do it go ahead <laughs> Nine. So that's two. two a so momentary the abatement. Man and uh, the jester heal two. for two hit points. So you're not at death head. door anymore. Nope. You can remove your dice and just you feel a little more comfortable. Okay, so just a little bit. Now for my second action, I will use a judgment. So this action. Oh, um, judgment. So Yeah, on that little acolyte friend oh, just here. The great thing is here you can see that uh, judgment has a range of one or two. So this is one of the rare skills that can have... Uh, yeah, that lets you choose. Which range you can use them. And so you crit on one plus one, two. Yes. And this was yeah. This is heavy damage dealing for the vessel because you would you would deal eight damage. It has an accuracy of nine. Uh, you have no buff. Does she have any no. dodge? No, she, does he? she does not. Uh, she oh does no, she's got a dodge of one. Dodge yeah. of one. Dodge okay, of one. so uh, accuracy is only eight. Okay, and, and then you will heal crit, yourself for two. And crit, crit, crit on two. Crit on two. Crit on Go two. ahead. Three. If you had a buff. You would have crit. Been, yeah. I considered buffing him, but okay. I so have to repay she takes four damage. How many hit points does she have? Uh, she nine. Two so left. she's two left. Two left yeah. But she's okay. also bleeding. So and if she's bleeding. Leave her alone, she, yeah, will, die she will. She will die. And does that it. mean we have? Yeah, we have finished the first round of combat. And I didn't mention something important. We have four rounds to uh, get rid of the monsters. If we do not, we have failed uh, this battle room and we have to leave. Uh, and if we want to come back, we will draw a new card and generate some new monsters. So in this case, if we want to clear the room, we have to do it within four rounds. And if we also want to see what's in the chests, we have to do it before the last monster has left the room. Okay? so. Let's uh, let's move on to second round. So I will move the scout to second round here. Uh, we put all our stances uh, back. Here. We haven't 
Yeah. Uh, the cards go back into the initiative yeah. deck. And I'm going to, you know, to remove. So uh, we have one monster less. So I take the, the monster initiative uh, card and I will now shuffle uh, the initiative. Uh, <laughs> Stressed already? Yeah. Well, but you, I, you're still at zero, so I'm, okay. I'm at zero stress, so I shouldn't be that yeah, stressed. We're doing fine. That's okay. Well, the jester I'm is also at zero stress, but no. we're, we're doing fine. How many hit points do you have? I have two. Two. Oh, that's not yeah. much. That's way more than enough. That's okay. Com that's comfy enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So let's mi let's. Take uh, the first initiative card, and it's a monster again. Uh, we're not lucky because. Okay, who is going? The Bone Defender, is that it? Yeah. Yes. So we have to roll a die to know yeah. his attack. 10. We rolled a 10. It's his first attack. It's the Axe Blade. Attack. Axe Blade. Axe Blade at one range, so he can't hit anyone anyway. Well, he, he's targeting the closest. Who's yeah, yeah. the closest? It's you, but he can't hit you anyway because there's a... There's yeah, two. but he could move. Yeah. yeah. He will, he's gonna move one. Yeah, he moves one here. And then he's not at range, so he yeah. stops here so just near the pit. That's, that's, that's okay. not too bad. That's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Let's. He's getting closer, but he's very slow. He's only yeah. yeah. So the second one is a hero. So it's gonna be me. It's gonna be the crusader. So I will turn this up. Uh, it's your turn. You have to take one buff token. Yes. So I take one buff token. I remove it, and that means now I have one buff for uh, this round. Yeah. Yeah. So my crit or plus one That's and it. we we are in level four light so I have plus two crits yeah okay so that's interesting um, what should I do oh you see the smite has plus one versus unholy plus one damage versus unholy this is good um, okay range of zero range of one the zealous accusation do we have any people if you want to attack, you'd have to move into the spiked pit. Yeah. That's the issue. So either I move into the spike pit or I move to the other side so I'm not... I do not take any bleed, I do not take any damage. Well, it might be a good idea to go ahead and rush up to this guy at some point. Hmm. Because, because he's gonna stay here. No, it's like if we have someone here, you will have to move away to get in range and so he will leave. So, that. Power, yeah. so guys, what do you think? Should I move and just go over the spike pit and just be in the same uh, area as the bone courier, or should I try and you know attack one one of the one of these guys? I think you should move into position. That way you can yeah. just yeah. go ham next turn, since you'll still have one buff. And who's going to go for the the, the chests? I'm gonna try to, but I'd still like to get healed more, so I'll okay. have to see how well, I can maybe we can just decide to take this one and leave uh, another one. This yeah. one alone. Yeah. Or I can move here so I can try and get this one later. It would take you two more turns. I think we'll have killed all the monsters by then. Or we just do not kill the last one so we can go get the treasures. Yeah, but we'll risk taking too long and having to leave the battle. That's yeah, that's a difficult I choice. I don't think that's safe to do it. I think you should so just you would move into the center. Yeah. Yeah. yeah All maybe. right. Okay. I'll do that. I will move to the center and get ready to ki to kill uh, the bone courier uh, on my next turn. So one, two. My two actions are taken. Okay. So let's move to the next initiative. This time it's a monster again. Oh, we're not lucky. Uh, and it's going to be the cultist acolyte. Okay, but first thing first, she, she takes, takes one wound, one damage from the bleeding. So, so she only has one, one HP, HP left. Oh yeah, you know maybe I should have killed her. You know, it, I could have. You, you could have by standing in the spike yeah. pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have taken the spike yeah. pit. Yeah, you're right. She's going to die anyway. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, she's going to die after this attack. You're right. So that's the. <laughs> the last one. Uh, okay, so she's in second position, so that means uh, she's gonna have to roll a dice. Uh, roll a dice, Antoine. That's two. two. Uh, 
Uh, that's uh, the, the first one, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stressful incantation. So that's the same Again, one uh, so that she on did. The most so she will stay where she is, right? Yeah. Yeah. She, who is she targeting? The most the highway, highway man again. Highway. Yeah. highway man is targeted, so she's she really has a grudge on you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, so she has a crit of zero. So now it's one. one. Do you have any dodge? I have yes. one dodge. So she has an accuracy of eight. Go ahead and roll the dice. Ten. ten oh again. my god! How many tens do you roll? If you only roll tens, just keep rolling for the enemies, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you still take. Uh, no, 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 you don't. You don't. No, because she's completely missed. Right, right. Yeah. So that's great. I mean, uh, Severin keeps rolling tens. Yeah, and that's I perfect. Mean, that's, that's There's fine. one thing that won't miss is the spiked bits. That's yeah. killing the, the, the cultists. <laughs> so <laughs> and she ends her turn in the pit. Yeah. So, so she she takes she's dead. So she's dead. Oh, Another one she falls. Dies. Very good. Okay, so we remove her initiative card as well. And, uh, and she's a human. So she's just a human. So what does it mean, to mean That she will not be in the monster's uh, deck anymore. So we take her out of the game. So for our next uh, missions, uh, yeah. she won't be here. So the more uh, we progress into this level one uh, quest, the less then likely we are to meet... Uh, Anything but unholy monsters. That's it. Okay. Uh, are we good? So, yes. Yeah. So let's. Next one. Next one. Hero. Okay. So that's gonna be the highwayman. Okay. So. So, do I hit the bone courtier, or maybe or I do you move? go to the chest? I think I'm gonna go to the chest. You're so going to? The best thing you could do would be to hit the bone courtier either from here or from its area. Because I can relieve some of your stress from a distance. Okay. So I can just. Uh, re Are leave, you really leave stressed? You the way. What is your stress level? Have you're at three? three? Yeah. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, but might as well just heal it what's yeah. while well, we can. Well, what we don't it? want is uh, the bone courtier to target you. How do we avoid that? Question. So the bone coach here targets mm -hmm. the I, most it, stress. It targets either the most stress or the closest, so, so it's, it won't ever be me because you're in this okay, area. Okay, so in that I'm case, you do whatever you want. So yeah. We don't want you to be at death door again. Maybe. But if you want me to heal you, you have to stay here. I would stay here. I think. With what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, so I need to go in the pit. That's really nice. Yeah. Thank you. So maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what, hmm. how, what's your move? You, oh, one. you only move one. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's different. So I don't have or you just choice. move two and be you you, 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 you cross the spike pit yeah, and you, you get ready. You won't get healed this yeah. turn. Well, you know, you could also still use some provision dice if you wanted. Yeah, so far I'm not at death door yet, so I think I'm gonna hold on okay. until I use some food. We really have to manage our provision yeah. dice uh, for the rest of the of this dungeon, and so mm -hmm. we shouldn't use too much of yeah. them. Maybe I should have just used the bandage to get rid of the bleeding. It would have made more sense. Mm -hmm. It's too late anyways. So maybe what I'm gonna do is go here, because I have two movements, and maybe shoot him. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So and I will be pulled, so I will come into... He's oh no, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can, yeah, because can. It, it can, yeah up to three miniatures can enter so go ahead move so first so action is move one, one two. two you point at him with your gun yeah. okay perfect and i'm going it's very important <laughs> to to physically point at the yeah. mini you want to you know it's it's yeah. more intimidating yeah it's okay yeah, especially when someone wields a gun <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah and it's and then which uh which uh, uh Action are you doing or which skill are you using? I'm using dualist advance. Again. Okay, again. Last time so I missed. Last time you missed. So are you gonna roll something else but ten? Let's Do you see. want anyone to, to roll for you? <laughs> so I'm gonna aim the bone crit here. He doesn't have any dodge. I have he, he does have one dodge. He has he one has dodge, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. So okay. your accuracy is reduced by one. So I have accuracy at eight yep. and I have crit uh, two because we have the light, yeah. Yes. One plus the light. So let's go. Yeah. Seven. Seven. So you hit. Four how many? Damage. 
Four damage. Does he have any resistance? No, no not at no. all. So four damage. He's only got three left. So let's give him yeah, four, four damage. damage. If, he's, if he plays and his turns end here, the oh, yeah. Power, yeah, we'll get he here. will heal four. Okay, so you are pulled yeah. up front. Yeah. I move here. You move here. Oh, and you could do a second one, right? No. no she had to move. Oh, she had to move. Okay, yeah. that's I, your second action. Moved. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, now, so that's bad because if if we get an initiative for uh, the monster, he's going to heal, right? Yeah. Uh, Only if he does not move. Oh, yeah, you're right. He won't move because he... Let's see. He might who's, because who's uh, next? his yeah. attack on the most stressed can only be done at two distance. Ah, okay. So he will have to move to target you. He may move into yeah. the pit, though. Okay. No, you won't move into the pit. Let's see. Monster. Oh. Okay. He, that's him. So, he's he with pit position. He's he's in a, a defensive stance. Defensive yeah. stance. So, so that means we have to roll a die. I'm gonna roll it. And if you roll one to five, one to five, he does the two. first attack. Okay. So we're good. He's gonna move out of the circle of power. Yeah. Okay. And he won't heal because he he rolled again. Uh, the templing. Well, yeah, tempting, tem goblet. tempting goblet. Yeah. So tempting goblet, and he needs to be at range two, and he's targeting uh, the most the stressed. Highway. The most stressed. Who, okay. who is it? So it's the, the highwayman highway again. So, so he's gonna move here, or maybe here. Hmm. Or here. Where do we want him? <laughs> Where do we want him? Uh, here I can just destroy him with my things. Okay. So good. it's Le let's put him here. Thing, yeah. That's good. Let's put him here. And now he's gonna throw some wine, wine at your face. So I'm gonna roll the dice. Uh, he has crit one. Yeah. And accuracy of nine because I have one dodge. Yeah. Four. Four. That's a normal hit. Yeah. So that's three, three, three damage and one stress. And one stress. So three damage. Beam. I like stress. <laughs> I'm the only one stress here. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> work on that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you you received some. Wine, wine or is or it blood? No, let's say it, wine. Is it some <laughs> tainted? No, uh, no, no, let's wine. Please. Liquid of some sort. I don't know. It's, I hope uh, it's wine. It doesn't look very nice. Jello. No. It doesn't smell very good either. It may be jello. I have no idea about that. Maybe jello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so you're done? I'm done. Okay, well, so he's, he's done. done. He's done. Now so we know that we only have Jester and then oh, Okay, so we, now it's yeah. a hero, yeah. so that's the so Jester. It's my turn, so I'm gonna suffer one bleed again. You're uh, buffed? Uh, my buff is also gonna move down, yeah. And the thing is, do I want to heal once or use the bandage just to get out of the. I will heal you for two. I was going to move here, so you may not. Hear yeah, me no, too. I won't. I won't chase after you. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Cause I think I'm gonna head for the chest right here. I think okay. that's the better play. So I'm gonna use one action to move here. One. No. One, one two, two, three. I could use. I could do three, but my inspiring tune only has a range of one, so I can go okay. too far if I want to heal your stress. Oh. Oh, okay. So he's being nice. Do I heal though? Do I eat one food just to avoid death door? That's the question. I think I do because that's gonna be too dangerous to remain at death door for too long. So you would. So using a provision dice is a free action. It doesn't take any action. It's you can only do it during your turn, but it costs zero action. So if you want to do it, now is the I time. I think I yeah. need to do it. You're free to do it, but oh, and don't forget, don't forget if we clear this room, we could use our campfire uh, card. We have 12 points to to split uh, among us. It may be a bit early, but they would... Well, yeah, I, I think it's a bit too, yeah. too early. Too early. Okay. Oh, we're only yeah. at the beginning of the I mean, dungeon. The, yeah, the good really. thing is the chest may contain some extra provisions, so me using yes. one should be should do the trick. So I think I'm going to use one food. Okay, you use one Just food, remove one wound. you remove one, one wound, okay. And then I'm going to use the second action to use the inspiring tune which has an accuracy of 20 and a crit of 2. So crit of 4, I guess, since there is the lights and my buff. So I highly doubt I missed that. That's 4. Oh, so that's, that's a So that's a hit? That's a crit. A yeah. crit. Oh. So I remove one stress from myself, which I don't need, and from the highwayman. 
Oh, One wait, stress? Wait, you're two in the area, so I also remove stress from your character. But like, you don't need it, but you would lose some I stress. I would. Okay, that's very good. So uh, we, is it your melody that makes us uh, feel le better? I mean, just just look at the pose. He's so oh. so cool. Of course, we're gonna be stressed if someone's so cool. What did you sing? Did thing. you sing <laughs> toss a coin at? No, so no, 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 no. He, he plays okay. uh, Pastor of Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. My greatest pastiche. <laughs> Okay, and uh, that was your first action? That was my second action. Your second, had, because you moved. Move first. Oh, okay. okay, and so you're close to this chest that you're yeah, looking yeah. at, right? Okay, so obviously the last uh, uh, initiative is necessarily a hero, and it is a hero, and it's going to be the Vestal. So what are you yes. going to do? So what I'm going to do is finish off this uh, little guy right here. Yeah. With my... Try to. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, with the... Oh. How many HP does he have left? Uh, One, two, two three, four. Three, I think. Three. He's got three left. Uh, three. Oh, okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use uh, Dazzling Light first. Uh, it only does two damage on a normal uh, hit, but it does uh, add another level of torch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it will get out of crit range, but will also be safer when it comes to darkness. Yeah. And then that's I can idea. use judgment to actually kill him off. I think that's a good idea, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so first action. That's a good plan. Dazzling light, uh, crit one, accuracy nine. That's eight. <laughs> that's a normal. It has one dodge, so eight on eight, does it hit? Yes, it okay. does. Oh. What was your your accuracy? Nine. nine? So eight is, is yeah. just good. Okay. Just enough. Just enough. Okay, so it takes two. Two damage. Uh, to the burn courier? Yeah. yeah. So he's got only one, one left. HP oh. left. Yeah, but that, that was the plan. So the torch moves back up to five. Okay. That, we that are... was the, the point of me doing that. Oh, so the, we, are, we have a better light now. Yeah. So we have good music and now we have light. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a, a we nice I should have, I should have just sung music and lights. <laughs> nice little <laughs> candlelit space. Uh, Kind of cozy, <laughs> nice. And now soon uh, we we're gonna dance. <laughs> <laughs> and now judgment. Okay. Oh nine. nine. So it doesn't hit. <laughs> oh <laughs> crap! No, because it's got good plan one, is one dodge. One dodge. So yeah. It, maybe it, we it, took it a little bit too easy. Yeah, okay. Maybe. maybe. So it misses. All right. Okay. It's all right. So we are we finished with uh, round two. Yeah, yes. Are. Yes. So now we are going to take uh, the hero card. So four hero initiative cards, and then only two monsters, monsters uh, initiative cards. And I'm going to shuffle them uh, once again. Once again. And we are entering uh, round three out of four. So now there's only two monsters left. Yeah. And we we yeah. have to defeat them to clear the rooms and score one. Experience points. This easy. is easy. All right. I trust you. you can okay. Because I won't. The first one is a monster. <laughs> My God, I've always started with monsters so far. So they only had two chances out of six. So one out of three. But it okay. was them. So, so who is it? The defender may be right once. here. He might do something for once. So yeah, I yeah. He's only moved he so will. far. Yeah. So, so the, the the bone defender. So. He's in first place, so roll seven is doing attack first. number one. It's the axe blade again. The axe blade again. Oh, yeah. that's good. So, so he needs to move. Oh, he doesn't, no, no, need, he to doesn't need to move. What, who's he, who's he targeting? The Colossus. The Closest. Closest. Oh. Closest. Uh, it's going to be either the, the Crusader or the Highwayman, but who is that? Checking on a oh. stance. But since you used to his stance, it's going to be the Highwayman. You are in first stance, so you're going to be targeted. Yeah. Okay, so he's targeting you. Uh, because you're in first stance because of your uh, skill, which made you moved up. So he's going to target you. Yeah. Again. Again. And so what is his... Um, he's, he's got a crit of zero. Crit zero. Plus, I oh, no, no. There's no, no modifier yeah. to the crit. So he can't crit. And has an accuracy of 10, ten. minus ten. one. Minus one? Has, okay, so from one to nine, he will hit. I hope I will get a ten. Again. Again. <laughs> well, we'll see. Two. Oh, right. two. It's not a crit, so but it's a normal. 
crit of one. So you take four damage. Yeah. yeah, you take four damage, and that's it. There's no side effect. Well, that's it. I only so add. It's gonna be eight. So yeah, eight. Sure. I only have four hit points left. Boo hoo! I have two. <laughs> okay, so a next initiative card now. Let's see if it's a monster. No, that's a hero. Uh, you know, we are. So it's gonna be the highwayman. You are on the first stance. Unfortunately for you, because you 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 got hit by the <laughs> bone uh, defender. I'm gonna get revenge. You're gonna get revenge exactly. You're gonna pay back. You could also end the bone courtier's life just to avoid him playing next. You're right. But if I do that, I, I will have to be in the pit. But you could pull yourself into its area to avoid the pit. Yeah. Yeah, or you can just move here since you got two movement. Yeah, true. If I attack the bone courtier, and you can even move in his, uh, I would have to move anyway. directly. Yeah, yeah. You got so, so one attack max. Who is gonna attack the bone the defender? Leo is gonna. Uh, yeah, do Leo it. can. Uh, I can hit that guy as well. I can if definitely take care of this guy. If uh, I attack the bone courtier, could you heal maybe? Uh, you enemy or really far away. No, I can't. Okay. It's too far. We are in round We've three. Ended. We still have like almost two rounds to to get rid of these uh, these guys. So I think we. I I think uh, getting um, ring, rid of him uh, might be a good important. Idea. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, to do so fast. Yeah, he gives yeah. us a lot lots of stress, right? So yeah. yeah, he's a stressful guy. If you can get rid of him, yeah, do it. Well. So, uh, what I can do is move two. Move two because I have an attack that has a 10 accuracy and one crit at 15 damage. Oh, okay. Well, you won't need uh, <laughs> that much. There's only <laughs> one hit point left. So, you should take your most, uh, your bigger accuracy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Attack. And also, if you, if you stay here, I can heal you. Generally Which is good. Yeah, you are. Since you're a bit yeah, you can be. Uh, yeah, you the issue is your your move is gonna push yourself. Um. Not yeah, but she, she can push herself in my zone. Oh, can you heal in your own area? No, but I can just spend an action to move away. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay, that's, that makes sense then. That's good. Okay. Go ahead. So, okay. what are you, which attack are you doing? Point blank shot. Point like blank shot, which is your most your strongest attack. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your dice. Uh, he doesn't have any dodge. Uh, yes, he has one dodge. Yeah. Okay. So, accuracy of nine. Still pretty good. Oh, no! no you I'm you must be kidding me! I'm Serene. so unlucky. Okay, oh, so I, I guess I'll So you missed... Uh, was it your turn. first... Yeah, you, you, that no. was your second action? Second action, yeah. So you missed, so you I have no side effect... Oh, does she still...? Yeah, yeah. I yeah still it's the side effects. The, no, the, the, the effect side effects on you... Always. Oh, mandatory. Yeah. Okay. All right. Too bad. Okay. Well, that happens. Some people think my dice <laughs> is strict. But no. no. Okay. <laughs> let's change the dice. Exactly. You never know. All right. So whose turn is it? Well, we'll, well see. Let's, let's ask see. the initiative. It's a hero, so it's gonna be me. Uh, and I'm back on first stance. Uh, which is uh, good. So, I'm going to take care... Oh, okay. Uh, should I take care of the... Yeah, I'm going to take care of this guy. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, go yeah. in the pit. I'm too slow anyway. So you can uh, use your buff? I can use my buff. So, I'm I'm still plus one crit. Yeah. Uh, so, my zeal accusation has one. Uh, but if I want to do something stronger... Try the smite. I think the smite is is better, and it's plus one against unholy. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna go for smite, which means I have to move one with my first attack, and then I'm gonna smite him. So that's uh, uh, a crit of zero, plus one because of my buff. Yeah. So I have a crit of one, and then an accuracy of nine minus his dodge. I don't think he dodges. He doesn't dodge. No. Okay, so 
Six yeah. is okay. So he, it does seven damage. How many hit points does he no, have? Yes, two. And does he have any protection? Uh, no, he does no. not. Oh, okay. So seven. So yes. he's got. Yeah. He takes seven damage, yeah. and then the side effect, if I if I succeeded, which I did, is plus one damage versus unholy. So he takes an, an extra one. Eight damage. So eight. eight damage. Not eight bad. Health left. Yes. Okay. So he, yeah, he's he's not doing very well now. <laughs> So let's move to the new uh, initiative. Please be green. Monster. Of course. It's <laughs> gonna be the bone courier. Okay. Yes. So. Well, once again, we have to let's roll, roll for his attack. Yes. One to five is number one. Six to ten is number two. Seven. Seven is so number two. So this time he's gonna do something else. The knife in the dark. Knife in the dark. So he's gonna target the closest. So it's gonna be one of you guys. Who is uh, so he's gonna target? Oh, it might. Uh, yeah. No, no. So it's outside. Yeah. So he's gonna target you. Uh, what is his target? His range is zero. So he's gonna move one to be in your area. No, he can't. He can't. Oh Look. right. Oh yeah. Right. He can't. So he can't actually attack. Right? He can't yeah. attack. Yes. Oh, he yeah. will stay there because he doesn't have a range of uh, one. So he stays here. That was close. So. That's a bit of okay. A luck. That was uh, frightening. Yeah, it's quite the relief. Perfect. So uh, next, up next, some heroes. next time it's gonna be some heroes. Yeah, it's gonna be the Jester. The Jester. Okay, so I'm gonna take my last bleed. So I'm down to one health thanks to the food, and my two actions will be to move here and to loot this chest. So I'm gonna have to flip the token over. Okay, let's, let's do, do it here. in front of the camera. All right. Ta da! Oh. And I, uh, so I get to gain one provision, provision of my choice. Of your choice? Uh, wow. No, wait, that's the wrong arrow. No, that's just a roll. Okay, I don't choose. I'm too greedy. So you just roll it? Yeah, I just roll it. Okay, let's roll it. And that's food. That's food. Okay, well, <laughs> you're always doing. good with food. So that's another provision dice that will be helpful, you know. Oh, by the way, do you want to use one of them? I'm still not at death's door, so we can just... Keep it for now. <laughs> How many hit points? You, you can just pretend you're one. fine. You have one hit point. But I'm, I'm really but you feel far good. away. I'm really far away, so I don't think I'm in any danger. Okay. Okay. So if that's gonna be my turn. You then. say so. Okay. You will be in danger so... during exploration. Yes, I will. <laughs> so I will use our tools during exploration. So now's my turn. Yeah. I the guess. last one is necessarily a hero. Yes. So, okay. Here. So I'm um, gonna. Kill the bone coach here because he's been here for way too long, and he's been a pain in the butt to be yes. polite <laughs> in the derriere. <laughs> <laughs> it is a word, it is a word. Uh, so, judgment, okay, oh. it misses. Again. Again. No. But you didn't move, so you can try it again. But I didn't move, yeah. so I can try it again. I thought I took seven Unfortunately, dice. you won't be able to heal him. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to heal you anyway. Yeah. So you miss because you rolled a nine, and does he have a yes, dodge? Yes, he has one dodge. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you need so. to roll eight or less. Yes. <laughs> Second try. Judgment. Take two. Five. <laughs> this time, you do. You can't. So he takes... Uh, four damage and that's, that's enough more the than enough. continue the onslaught destroy and them all uh, he's unholy he's right unholy, unfortunately, so we so. will put him back underneath the monsters yeah. he uh, stays in the deck yes and we will shuffle the monsters deck at the end of the dungeon right or, yeah, uh, the dungeon, at, yeah of the dungeon we put the ones uh, that stays here, and we took away uh, the cultist acolyte. Okay. Okay. So we are going so to the last one, right? Last, last round. Yeah. So we absolutely need to kill uh, bad the bad guy if we want to clear the room. So this is, and you know, I'm the only one close to him. I can attack it. You could attack him if necessary. Yeah. Okay. So. Because we absolutely, we, we cannot fail. We cannot no, fail. No, Otherwise, we do everything has been for nothing. Let's take the four hero plus uh, 
the last one where, where is it i you, gave oh, it to okay. you he's right here. it's here so one hero initiative card and one and one uh, four hero initiative cards and one monster uh and now i will shuffle and you know what i could probably do the monster again so far they've always uh please don't <laughs> you you tell me stop this time stop okay all right you ready guys I don't think uh, I am afraid. Okay. Ready. Monster! <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Oh. What totally... are the odds? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leo, you're not drawing next battle. I don't know. You're, I you're mean, I, I draw monster cards, Severine rolls 10. Is I mean, that's. You... I die. Okay. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> I mean, now we know what's coming next. We know it's only going to be I guess. heroes. I guess okay, so uh, the monsters go first. How many hit points left does he have? I think he has two. two. Yeah. yeah. Well, two left. So, he's in first place. So, we have, we have to, to roll the dice. Seven. So, so it's so his attack, first attack. So it's attack number one. He has to be... Oh, he's dead. Because he... You know to use the axe blade, which has a range of one, he has to move away to hit you. Yeah. So he'll move away into the... He has to move the into the pit. So, uh, he rolled seven. How, what, what does he do? He does so, the axe blade. Axe blade, mm. so he gets in range by moving into the pit. And then he hits me for... Uh, with an accuracy of 8, for 4 damage, one. and he can crit. So 4 damage, right? Uh, we have to yeah. roll for his attack first. Oh, so okay. please do, okay. Leo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You want me? In Le Leo's the yes. target. It's, uh, okay, let me sense. roll his dice. 3. three. So he, he hits, hits you. 4 damage. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the first damage I take, guys. Oh, boo -hoo. But, you know, I still have 13 left. <laughs> it's more than my total health. <laughs> I, I think and you're doing more good. More than mine as well. I think you're doing good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing not too bad. All right, so... It's, it's, and then it's the end of his turn. He's in the in the pit. So he takes, takes three, three so he's and he just explodes into nothing. Dies. Uh, Back to the yeah. pit. So, and we put his card, he's unholy, so we put it... Uh, underneath the monster's deck. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So we 